Good morning guys. Um, we ended up staying at John O'Groats last night. There's a campsite literally right on top of John O'Groats. Um, we did look at wild camping at like some lighthouse place but the thing that we're noticing with the NC500 is that although Scotland has wild camping laws it's actually really difficult and I don't know if it's because of 2020 because obviously when covid hit and everywhere went into lockdown a lot of people were discovering this route and discovering that you could wild camp and obviously a lot of people have ruined it for others hello hola tell everyone how you slept like shit <laughs> it's very windy here um when i wake up at three o'clock all i could feel was me getting fucking pelted by the tent yeah. i was like, i'm gonna fucking like suck a punch so the noise wouldn't annoy me but then there was just tap 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 all night. I, I think my earplugs are gone because I could still hear the noise through my earplugs but I, I I don't know if it's like because of 2020 because obviously a lot of people discovered the route and like I wonder if because people have ruined it that they've now made it much harder because a lot of the car parks we're noticing they'll say like no overnight stays and stuff whereas before I don't really think you would have seen that um I do think that it would be easier in a camper doing the NC500 yeah. because there are quite a few places where you can just park up and it doesn't say no overnight stays um and then you've got your home for the evening but in a tent I think wild camping is very difficult but yeah I slept okay I wake up at three o'clock I finished my book it was really good um a bit of a heavy one but yeah we're at John O'Groats now this isn't the northernmost point is it what's the northernmost point done it head done it head is the northernmost point we'll be there today as well because it's about 20 minutes that way we're gonna go there today as well but this part of Scotland is actually teamed up with the bottom half of the UK um there is another signpost in Land's End which funnily enough the English make you pay for the Scots they'll just let you take a picture for free yeah. but that's where we are today that's what we're doing and that's how we slept you're welcome <laughs> Good morning everyone. My face looks horrible. Like, my face literally feels like the crater of the moon. <laughs> what? I, it looks horrible. Um, I'm so red and disgusting. Camping has caught up with me and I'm missing my CeraVe right now. Oh, I feel the other way. Oh. I went in the bathroom this morning and was like, my skin feels great. Mine feels fucking horrendous. It looks horrendous. I, I don't even break out this bad when I'm due on. Like, this is horrendous. I thought Scottish water was supposed to be like magical. Yeah, I think it's the water, not the rain. <laughs> anyway, either way, my face looks horrendous. I can officially say I probably had my worst night's sleep yet. Oh, did you? Yeah, I think oh, this was I my worst right. one. Only because I was waking up and all I could was shoo, of like the 10, yeah, like out. Way. We thought yesterday evening was. Yeah horrendous for wind but this one took the biscuit i think it was really bad i mean i we both woke up and we were like checking the tent to make sure that it was still pegged in it was that bad i think everyone in camper vans is quite lucky here but we are right on the sea hopefully that focuses in like we're literally right on top of the the cliffs i mean the other one was as well but this one just felt way windier um we're gonna go to smooth caves today looking forward to it hopefully it lives up to the hype <laughs> so yeah no i'm just i'm trying to put my hair <laughs> she's having a situation i am um the smooth caves will be lovely i'm sure 
I think it will be. Mm. But anyway, that's what we're going to do today. And then we've got some driving ahead of us. I think this is going to be my breakfast of champions, which is a carrot cake. Um, because I've run out of cereal bars. Oh no. But it's all right. I've got stuff. I've got provisions. Um, and yeah, we'll update you when we're doing something. And we'll show you Smoo Caves. Goodbye, Shoe Pig. <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> I love that uh, we've come all the way to Scotland and naturally when Sophie sees pebbles she's like oh I wonder if there's any sea glass so what do we end up doing? Like, look for fucking sea glass <laughs> So so far Sophie would give Spook Caves a 0 out of 10 because there's no sea glass <laughs> This is a completely unrelated topic, yeah? But I just read a book where the woman had to climb down. I think it was 10,000 stairs to get to the city. And that was a punishment for being drunk and fucking loads of men. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking, yeah. Maybe I should live a more virtuous life. But now I'm going up them, I'm like, but going down is so easy. How did she not go? How does she not sure do going down? Was, she had to come back up as well. Well, yeah, she did have to come back up, but I'm like, going down was so much easier. So how going does she never? Easier. She never made it. She made it like twice in the whole book, but towards the end. The sex obviously wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was up on the mountain to be fair. Clearly wasn't worth it. Hello everyone. Um, so we decided to leave Smoo Caves. We had a little look around and that was about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I forgot to film the waterfall that was inside. Um, but basically they do a tour in the Smoo Caves um, and you can actually like go further in. Like when you're actually walking into it, there's only so much you can see, but you can do a tour, which is like 10 pounds per adult. Um, and they will like take you through like deeper into the chambers and there's like an inner chamber you can go in and if it's not flooded you get a boat to it um, unfortunately they can't do it today because I'm gonna guess uh, it's just too waterlogged it rained really badly um, last night so yeah and it's just really windy so I'm guessing that the water and the weather conditions just mean that you can't do it we're currently parked up because Sophie's thinking of her stomach as usual and she's getting a cheese toasty um and then we're probably gonna go to coco mountain again um because there are two coco mountains and we're near another one um and obviously i really i really did like their hot chocolate so that's probably what we're gonna do and then we're gonna head down to we're gonna head past scory i think um to lock in there lock in there i'm not sure how to say it but that's our plan for today Hopefully we'll find some picturesque spots. I'm sure that we'll have a picturesque drive. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm just waiting for Sophie to finish getting food. <laughs> Let's do this again because apparently my memory card doesn't want to work. How would you rate this day out of 10 so far, ten Sophie? Out of ten. Today has been a really good day. Um, you would have seen that we've seen some very picturesque spots so far because pretty much all of this is just pretty much driving. Um, but I would say out of the NC500 so far, like picturesque wise, this is the best part so yeah. far. Although we did see a couple of really good picturesque spots at the beginning of our trip. Yeah. It's um, been like one day of just. Wow. Non -stop, like, yeah. <laughs> time and time again yeah um sophie had the best cheese toasty that she's ever had the best at a place called cheese and toasties which is in Dennis. 
yeah it did smell really good Absolutely. we had another cocoa mountain i didn't have chocolates this time because none of them were really tickling my fancy this mm. time um but i had a chocolate coconut brownie which highly recommend it was literally like eating chocolate batter out of a bowl it was great and the hot chocolate this time around was a lot more chocolate it was very sickly sophie couldn't finish hers a bit too much for me not a chocolate person it wasn't enough for me <laughs> I'm like, give me all the sweet stuff. But yeah, we've seen some Highland cows. Our first Highland cow experience. Because although there were Highland cows at the beginning of our trip in Edinburgh, it didn't really count because they were just like... Yeah, they were like their pets. Pet Highland cows. And there was only like two of them. Whereas these, these were like farm Highland cows. These had like cows. the mountains as well. The back oh it my God. They were the doing everything. Picture. They were. They were giving um, it all the angles. So you would have seen everything. And yeah, we're stuck in a very picturesque spot right now. And I'm not mad about it. But today is a 10 out of 10 already. So we'll take you on the rest of the journey. <laughs> I think that serves you right, mate. <laughs> they wouldn't let me take a photo of them. <laughs> they were like some quails or whatever they are up there. And she wanted a photo and they all ran away from her. <laughs> they did it last time when we saw them at that fairy garden. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. Oh, shy. The elusive quail. I don't know. If there's any bird experts, they're up there. <laughs> So we've made a friend, a friend who I'm going to call Daisy because I'm unimaginative. You are adorable. I want to take you home. Yeah. Well, that was a nice little detour, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely. Um, we just stopped off at a random lighthouse. I mean, it was supposed to be a little detour and it turns out the lighthouse was fucking ages away. Yes. Every corner you go around, you're like, it'll be around this corner. It'll be around this corner. Um, no, it'll be around this corner. But we did pass Clashnessy Falls, which we're going to do um, another day tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure. But we stopped off here and we saw some cows and tried to look for some dolphins and whales because it's a good spot to see them or whatever, but we didn't see anything. So, but it was nice nonetheless. Yeah, it's very pretty. Nice little detour. And now we go onwards. <laughs> Sophie's very excited. She is. Um, why are we excited, Sophie? Yes, we've got fish and chips. Oh, look at the size of that Ooh. fish. Fucking hell. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I got nuggets and chips because I'm a child. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for this. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. <laughs> 